I would give it all up. Hello everyone, welcome to the Viral Report. I'm Lamar. All right, so I know right now, everybody's tired of seeing these R. Kelly videos. I'm tired of making these R. Kelly videos. That's why this is the last R. Kelly video we would do on this channel unless there is significant breaking news around the R. Kelly matter, okay? Because these videos, they're starting to become a series. <laughs> I guess we could call them what? The Urinating Chronicles. Hmm, I like that. <laughs> All right, so if you haven't heard, R. Kelly was released from jail today after being arrested on March 6th for failure to pay $161,000 in child support. Well, R. Kelly coughed up, coughed up that $161,000, <laughs> okay? R. Kelly looked relieved, almost as if he had beat all his charges. I'm sure he was just happy to get back to his girlfriends. I wonder if he hit up that McDonald's again after his release for a teen's meal. Here's what R. Kelly uh, had to say after his release. Thanks for the order, guys. Um, I promise you, we're gonna straighten all this stuff out. That's all I can say right now. And I promise you. Do you think your fans? Do you think you like? I love my fans. Thanks for sticking there with me. Thank you guys for the order. I love y'all fans. Oh my God. All right, y'all just seen what Robert Kelly had to say after his departure from jail. Now, R. Kelly's lawyer spoke out to the media following his release from jail, and here's what he had to say. So there's a couple things I want to say. Um, as far as the child support matter, uh, what was posted, the judge has entered a gag order, so we can't really talk about that. Uh, he's got uh, a divorce lawyer she'll be addressing those matters, they go back to court on Wednesday. I, I just want to touch for a moment on, on some of the other stuff that's been going on. Uh, you know, there there have been a lot of criticism. Uh, there's been a lot of criticism of Mr. Kelly. There's a lot of criticism of me. Uh, on both, both ends, I think it's unprofessional. I saw his former attorney, who is extraordinarily sick, made some comments. Uh, I'll take a couple of questions. Facing some very serious charges, up to 70 years in prison. Do you think it helped his case to speak out? You know, whatever this man does, people are going to criticize. People say, "Well, I'm going to, I'm going to answer your question." Okay, whatever he does, people are going to criticize. So if he doesn't say anything, people are going to say he's not saying anything. Because if he says anything, he's going to incriminate himself. He if he does anything. speak, if he does speak, people are going to say, "How can you believe him?" He's just saying whatever. If he cries, people are gonna say they're fake tears. If, if some victim, I remember getting yelled at in that courthouse a, a couple of weeks ago, oh, these victims were crying on TV. How can you call them liars? They're crying. He was crying on TV. People wanna call him a liar. I'm gonna say the same thing. Because he's crying, it doesn't mean he's truthful or not truthful, because they're crying. It doesn't mean he's truthful or not truthful. The girls, the girls talk to the TV, oh, it's rehearsed. They have Stockholm Syndrome. People don't even know what that means. They haven't seen their parents. He arranges, he doesn't arrange, the girls arrange. They're gonna see their parents. Oh, that's all staged, that's all wrong too. No matter what the man does, people are criticizing. So what is the man to do? That's what I asked you. He sat for an interview. He wanted to sit for that interview. He's not hiding. Do you think it helps his case? It doesn't help his case, it doesn't hurt his case. We are gonna try this case in a courtroom, in the walls, on the rules of evidence, based on what they're going to present. We're not going out there and doing interviews to taint the jury pool, to not taint the jury pool, to help the case, to not help the case. The man sat for the interview. He answered the questions. People can think whatever they want based on that. They can make their own judgment. I can tell you that nobody who drew a judgment based on that interview is going to be on our jury and is going to be making the decision. Evidence yet. When do you expect to see the tape? Or I the expected to report? see it two weeks ago. So when they give it to me, I'll see it. Why yes. Yes. yes, we filed our motions 
for Discover. Can you get the child support? I'm sorry. Is there a reduction in the child support amount that was given, or is there? Is any, there a what? There was there. We heard there might be a reduction in the amount the judge. Well, you know the the child support. I we're really not supposed to talk about that, but the man was paying twenty thousand dollars a month in child support. He paid it religiously until he couldn't make any more money because of all of these statements that are being made and all of the rumor and all of the innuendo and frankly because of the charges. So he paid the child support. He paid it year after year after year. Now what's going to happen going forward, if it's going to get reduced, if it's going to stay the same, that, that's not in my hands. Steve, can you talk about the Detroit charges? Are you guys worried that there's a, uh, another set of charges in a second jurisdiction? You know, it's, it's, it's basically, it's open season on R. Kelly. Uh, everybody is now coming forward and saying, oh, I met this man and this is what happened. Look, there's no money for these people. There might be their 15 minutes of fame or whatever, but we could all make our own judgments about whether people are, are saying things because they're true or because they want their fame or whatever the reason is. Again, we're going to deal with it. If there's charges brought, I'm sorry, it's cold out. About- if there's charges brought anywhere in this country, we don't walk up. You know, I keep thinking. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And you know what? I love you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.